Hello guys, today I'm going to explain the next part of the Bertie tutorial task. So if you have seen my previous tutorial, you know how to create that notification. But today we're going to go a step further and create that scene. So I had some questions from people who were asking me, how can you create that scene? So in this tutorial, I will explain that. So first of all, let's see how it looks. I just enabled that task and you see here at the top in my status bar an information icon. So that's my notification. When I pull on my notification bar, you will see here that notification. So this is what we are creating, especially the SMS button. So the other things I've explained that before. So let's open that and you will see something like this first of all you see the name and then you will see also the phone number and then an fixed or predefined text the send button the characters and the cancel button so we're creating something like this okay now you have seen the preview let's go inside tasker and create that gonna close that and here I'm inside my tasker you will see I have two tasks and also a profile and also one scene okay let's start with the task let's open that task and we start with this one the reminder English. I got some questions from people who were asking me how can you filter only the mobile number. So this is how I created that. So let me explain everything. I hope you can follow because it's not easy and also only variables are used. So the first action is auto contacts. I'm getting the info from my auto contact and I'm ordering it by the next even date. That's quite easy. The second thing is a variable set. You will see here the BD name or birthday name. I'm gonna set that to EC name. What is this? When I trigger the first action, I'm getting the EC name and I will put that in another variable BD name. Why? Because I'm using that inside my scene. So the next thing is the age to the EC ESCs events. And then we have the variable sets. So when I order the contacts by even dates, I only want the numbers of the first person that I get. So this will get the, all the numbers of EC name. And I will move that, all the numbers, that's an array, I move that inside the contact number. So if someone has multiple numbers, I'm gonna split it by a comma because this is an array and it will get several numbers if you are not sure what you are doing please use the flash command for seeing what you are doing then the next action is we're gonna use the all number types from the first person so from ec name that we ordered by the auto contacts so the first person we're gonna use all number types and we're gonna set that to type number so when you open type number you will get something like mobile home work etc etc if someone has those number of course then the next thing we're gonna split that again also this is an array so you're gonna split that by a comma I hope you understand what arrays are and how you can use those this is very important otherwise you don't know what you're doing right now okay so we split that with a comma let's go further and let's go to number eight and we see here number eight is a variable set I will use a variable index just a variable and uh, we set this variable to type number and we are gonna use mobile so this is quite difficult what I'm trying to tell you so the number type is an array because we used all number types from the first person so we're getting something like a work mobile at home what I told you before but we're gonna split that and we, we have also number type 1, 2, 3, etc, etc. So 
we using now the number type and we're gonna retrieve mobile from that array and that will give us a result like a number so for example the mobile number is in this array number three or number two of number one and this will give us a result and we're gonna put that inside index when we have multiple mobile numbers you will have for example 1, 3, 5 etc etc so we're gonna use the splitter and we're gonna split that array again and then we're gonna use the contact number and then the index so when i go back to the beginning you saw here we use all numbers from the first one to contact number okay so it can be mobile numbers or uh, home numbers or work numbers so here in action number 10 we gonna use that number we have triggered from inside here and we're gonna put that inside here so the contact number all the contact number are mobile 2 3 4 and 5 and we're gonna split that and we're gonna use that one inside this one and this will give us only the mobile number and we're gonna set that to birthday number this is a global variable because we're gonna use that inside our scene later okay and here i have also a flash but i've disabled that that was just for testing and then the next thing is the test option we're gonna use contact photo yuri and as data we're gonna use the birthday number that number because we're going to use that also in our scene. So I hope you understood everything what I told right here because that's not easy. Okay, that's all we are doing here inside our task. And the other things are similar like my previous tutorial. So let's close that and then we use an auto notification and the auto notification was SMS birthday and the task is here first of all i want to cancel that what does it do when i click on sms it will remove that message from my notification bar then the second thing i do is status bar collapse because i want to see my scene and the status bar has to be collapsed the next thing we're gonna set a variable bd text to let's open that BD text to happy birthday and many years enjoy that's our text so let's close that and then we use a test and we use a type variable length and the data is BD text and we are gonna start that result in another variable count characters because we want to count the amount of letters that is used as you saw in the preview and then we're gonna show our scene and the scene is called BD scene SMS as a dialog and we're gonna use also an element image for our picture so we're gonna use our BD scene SMS picture and the BD pic is our image if you don't see that one just click on the double arrows okay it's a little bit complicated but i like this task i'm having really fun with this so let's open our scene and we click bd scene sms let's open that and you will see here some variables you see here a text a text we see also here a text the edit field we see here an image and we see here two buttons the send and the cancel button okay and we see here two text with inside the variable bd name because we set that in our task before and also our number that's the mobile number we got from our task and then our bd text and as last we have also here called characters and then characters as you remember we've set all those variables inside our task before if you don't remember just rewind the video first of all we're gonna set a picture and that picture is called name picture because we got it, we used that also in the previous 
task and you will see here the element image is BD seen and we use the element picture for our picture okay back to our scene we're gonna use the BD text just a text edit field but behind that text edit field there is much more going on so let's open that so the name is just text edits and the uh, the text is BD text of course so it will show automatically our text that we have refined before and the text changed that's important for us we're gonna use a variable sets BD text sends to new value so if I change that text I'm gonna put that inside a new variable BD text sends then I'm gonna use the test again and we're gonna use the variable length again and we use then the BD text send and we're gonna store that in account chair new then we're gonna use an element text and we're gonna use the element of of our scene is characters we're gonna replace existing and what are we are replacing we're gonna replace that text that's standing there to count character new characters so what I'm doing here when I change that text I'm gonna put that in BD text send then I'm gonna use this action to knowing the length of that variable the amount of characters and then I'm gonna put all that variable inside the text element of the characters so when I click on this one you will see here the name is characters so I'm using that also when I click here so when I edit the element text you will see here the element of the scene is characters so that's what we are doing and then we use the count characters and we have here the count character characters and that's all you have to do and then our send button the send button is just send and when we click on tap when BD text send is not set we are gonna use the command send SMS to the birthday number and our original text was BD text that was our original variable and then if our birthday text sent is set in other words if our text is changed we're gonna send an SMS to the birthday number again but the message will be BD text sent that's the variable if your text is changed and then at the end we're gonna clear all our variables so the bd text the bd text send and we're also gonna destroy our scene bd scene sms so this is not a very easy tutorial with this you can make the same like i posted before of course we haven't set our call button but that's almost the same you can make it whatever you want you can create another scene for the call button uh, where you can choose a uh, calling the mobile number or the work number or the home number etc etc uh, it's up to you to do that i'm not gonna do that in a tutorial and i hope you like this one and if you have any questions just post that on my google page or on my YouTube channel. Thank you.